broadcasting live from Warship Studio here in France. Hi, my name is Jessie and you're watching G3 TV. The studio here changed for its spring setup and that's where we're going to welcome our guests tonight. They are some of the creepiest, most dangerous individuals we could find. They advocate for their views on society in quite a questionable way. They even terrorized the country more than once. Please welcome the representative of the League of Villains. Please forgive us, it seems like we're experiencing some kind of technical difficulty. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy! Uh, yeah, <clears throat> um, we, we do have a problem, miss. One of the guests... One of the guests tested the doorknob. What? <sighs> Jimmy, I look like a fucking idiot now. My god, I blame you. You're not getting that merit in craze this month, that's it. Hey guys, what's up? Just interrupting to tell you that our next video is going to be a Q&A. So if there's anything you'd like to ask, drop your questions in the comment section below and use the hashtag Q&A Warship Studio. Voila! Um, enjoy this video! Bye! Welcome back with us. Thank you for your patience. Uh, you're still watching G3 TV and our extra special guest tonight are none other than the very dangerous uh, League of Villain. <laughs> it is so nice to have you here tonight. After a great start, I see. Um, well, you guys remember what we do here on G3 TV. We asked our viewers to share any questions they may have for our guests. And since uh, your time is so very precious, as you made very clear, uh, without further ado, let's start. The first question goes to Shigaki as the leader of the league. So poor boss. Uh, so we're opening with a very interesting question from Sam, who asks, um, how do you get the love to work together? Do you do any team bonding exercise? It's true that your group is not very well known for being particularly cooperative. I own day exit. Sure, tell them, boss. Tell them how often you take us out to go do yoga, or hiking, or to kill people, as a family. All of that, in that order, the same day. Well, uh, yes, um, as one will expect. Um, well, uh, Debbie, talking about team bonding, Lara64 has a question and would like to know Est-ce que c'est difficile de vivre avec la Ligue des Super Vilains? Oh, you have no idea, although it shouldn't be hard to guess. Uh, between this one over there who ruins the little furniture that we own, uh, Crazy that way who stabs you unexpectedly throughout the day, and Twice who's as loud as a fucking preschool during recess. Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it reminds me of my kids at home. Wait, I don't have any kids. Um, anyway, we have a follow-up question from Nico who asks, uh, what is one thing you hate about being a villain? Oh, seeing the gaping void in my bank account. Like you want money. Well, why do you know? Maybe I wish to invest in real estate, get richer, collect cars, pay taxes. <laughs> uh. Moving on, um, Shigaki, on the topic of getting back on the right track and starting your life to make a stable income and um, not working a 40-hour job, being underpaid and never seeing that promotion that you were promised years ago. Maxi would like to know, have you ever imagined life as a hero? <laughs> yeah, his hero name will be Duster. <laughs> I'm gonna dust your ass, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Duster, don't hush my patient. And to answer your question, 
Why becoming a hero, even though a child's innocence hollowed to dream of an ideal? Reality always catches up to us, and hero is nothing but a meaningless title coined to keep us disillusioned in the possibility of a better future. But it's only a mere facade hiding the ugly truths of the world. Hero society is rotting from within. Why swear allegiance to a group supposed to help when they only look for fame on play who got the biggest agency? Reaching top 10 only to strip their own ego. Hero society is no more. It's far too sold. The word hero is sold. All right, um, after um, questioning my place and uh, my own value as a human being in our social system and having all of my certainties shaken to the ground, I did not want to break. So um, I'll leave you guys to our commercials and we'll be right back. We're definitely going to get our show cancelled after that, right? Yes. Hi my lovely bunnies! My name is GG. I'm your favorite idol who's also a TV reporter. <laughs> oh my god, you wish you were me. So I'm going back here on G3 TV once again to present to you the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much Boxer for making this possible. What is Boxer? You've already seen it. It's a monthly subscription box that comes directly to your house full of Japanese candies, teas, snack produced by centuries old family businesses. Each box retails for less than $40 and let's discover together what's inside this one! So you can get 10% off your order and save up to $47 in total by clicking the link in our description and using our code WORSHIP10! Yay! So let's see what's inside. So each box always contains between 20 and 24 items and the theme changes every month. So we're going to discover together what's the theme. Oh! The little says that it's Boxer birthday! Happy birthday, Boxer! I didn't know! Ooh. Oh, I just discovered that there's a haiku to give a hint on what the next box is going to be. We're going to go through what we have. There's this cute little packaging that I really like. Oh! <laughs> I want to try this one. Ooh, la 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 la. We have bunnies! <laughs> Guys, we got bunnies! Yes, in spring, just like me today. We have, oh, this one looks so cool. Look at this, they're little candies. We have so many different things that time. Oh, wow, this is amazing. I, I'm amazed by the fact that it fits in the box. That little, oh, tablet, my favorite. Uh, with Namachoko. Oh. Uh, I said I wanted to try this one. So this one is the Jaga Choco Potato Chips. Uh, we have the allergy, say, it says if it's vegetarian, it's always very useful because everything is written in Japanese because it's authentic, so this is great. <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> no, it's okay, I did it, I did it, no problem. Oh, so they really look like chips. They are covered in chocolate. Mmm, let's try. Mmm, mmm, oh my god. Okay, so those definitely combine both salty and sweet. So very, very strongly, you can really feel the potato flavor behind and the chocolate. So be very mindful of that. Uh, which one are we going to try next? The bunnies! Let's try the bunnies! It's also uh, apple flavored, like last time. It's called Shinsu Apple Rabbit Manju. This one is easier to open. Ooh! It is so cute! It is a little rabbit! Amazing, I love it. I think it's exactly the shape uh, in which you can cut apples, so it's very cute. Mmm, so cute! It's very soft. Mmm, there's a bit, a bit of apple in the middle. A bit like a ganache. It's not like a cookie, it's not like chips, it's not crispy. It's very, very soft. Mmm, so good. 
This was amazing. I'm so happy about the two I tried and I can't wait to try the other ones. Thank you so much, Baksu, for sending this. It's a great discovery. And I will leave you guys to go back to this boring, <laughs> boring colleague. Yeah. My favorite one, <laughs> Jesse. Goodbye, guys. See you next time. Mwah! But isn't it my responsibility as journalist to think critically and question my work? Because if I don't, then I'm no better than... Hi! Welcome back on GTTV. This is still Jesse and I'm still your host tonight. Um, let's move on with our exclusive interview of Shigaraki and Dabi. <sighs> We're going to turn to Shigaraki with this rather funny question. Have you ever accidentally disintegrated something? Oh my god, yes! Actually, he did! A uh, door handle, a body pillow, a um, switch, and uh, covers, and also we made a list with twice. Wanna hear about it? No. Yes, of course. So, David made some bed. As any other interesting question? Why do you hear so far? Manish. Actually. <laughs> not not expected at all. Um, of course, you're here and I am prepared. <laughs> Jimmy, questions. Um, this is a fascinating answer. You have such an interesting insight. <laughs> um, so, Toga, uh, we're so glad to have you here tonight. How long have you been hiding there? There, there aren't any more of you than you're on here, right? I don't want to end up in the marble. <laughs> Jimmy, go get her chair. Um, so perfect. Um, we have some questions prepared for you. Uh, yes, we do. For example, uh, Ace Arrows is asking, uh, who is your favorite link member to annoy? Hmm. Actually, all of them. It's pretty funny to annoy them to the max. Yeah, like when you turn on the hot water when you're under the shower. It's very uh, How do you know? I mean, you smell pretty bad. Do you even take showers? Fascinating. Well, um, this brings me to our next question uh, from Jay, who asks, "When was the last time you showered, Debbie?" Depends. After I f your mom, or after eating some fried chicken. Why is everyone so obsessed about Debbie's showers? And we know what kind of fried chicken you're talking about. The fuck do you know? I'm not gonna comment on that, but since you mentioned chickens and hogs, Tammy asks, do you know that people ship you and hogs together? Your ship name is Hot Wings, by the way. Care to comment? Yeah, doesn't sound very sexy to me. Really? I do remember your current obsession for the world Hot Wings. No, the tiny cars, Garaki. The tiny cars. Sure. Oh, can we stop talking about food, please? I am so hungry. Absolutely, we can. We have a few more questions about hawks. Um... No, 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 that's enough. I gave you one answer about the bird. I'm not answering any more questions. Why is it so goddamned fucking complicated to get any fucking answer in this godforsaken interview? Let's switch to another topic then. Shigaraki, we have this question. Um, comment vous êtes rencontré avec Dabi? Cette question nous vient de Shinzukine Tukina. Je trouve dans une poubelle un matin. Il était en train de chialer parce que son père va faire toute sa gueule. Elle m'a dit un mot et elle a décidé de me suivre et depuis il est là. Alors c'est pas tout à fait ce qu'il fait mais il est là. Mais moi je me souviens pas de ça. Hein. C'est pas comme ça que les chats adoptent les humains. Mmh. <rire> Then I must ask uh, Debbie, why did you join the league? Taco asked, and I'm starting to wonder as well. well. Not for the pizzas, obviously. Again with those pizzas? Right, pizza! I say no! I'm going to fucking die for this god awful job. Um, the following question is the one that we all 
uh, wonder uh, what happened for the lady to start delivering pizzas. Well, I performed since our dear leader keeps cutting ties with possible suppliers. Truth is, I can't get up the results. Dabby! Yes, 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 yes! You will finally talk about your love life! You always talk about it with Kurogari and not me! That's not fair! Next question. You do want to talk about love life, Toga? We do have the perfect question for you. Um, this one comes from uh, Cherry who asks, uh, what's so beautiful about Deku? Oh, what a cute question! You see, he's quite an adorable being. He's determined, yet so blushy, and also he's ambitious, and he works so hard. He's just a cute puppy. I want to kill him. Me too. You two need therapy. Got it coming. I'm tired and barely holding on by a thread here, but luckily we're reaching our last questions for this show. Toga, here's another question for you. Um, what's the craziest thing you've done with your quirk? I went to my neighbor's house. I broke him. I stole his blood and his wallet. And then I went to vote. How evil. You did that? Yeah. Wow, I am uh, speechless. Um, let's move on to Debbie with this question from Mama Kate, um, how many piercings do you have? Um, let's say the staples on Kana's piercings. So we have uh, 5 and 6, 11, I have normally 3 on my nose, and I have. Um... Ouch! The Judging fuck? by the smell! <laughs> oh my god, please, I just want to do a normal interview. But we're coming on to our last question for tonight. Thank God uh, this one goes to you, uh, Shigaraki. Abby asks, uh, why don't you use any chapstick? Uh, we all know that you do need it. <laughs> you will never believe the actual answer to that. <laughs> For the love of my dad, daddy. Oh, there he is. Who is he? Shigaraki, you're late for your daily skincare routine. Let's go. Leave me alone, you bastard! I'm good at the security hands! Then I'm gonna kill you if you brush me! You're stuck in ever again! Overall, oh what are you getting in here? Oh, quick, look at stop me so we can get the insurance money! Sure! <laughs> no, 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 please, not the insurance money! I need this! Oh. I give up! I give up! This is too much! Gigi can do the interview next time, I don't fucking care. Uh, thank God this is the end of our interview. And um, thank you guys for tuning in and bringing me more support. Um, our next guest should raise the bar a little bit and bring some professionalism here. That's the very least I could expect from them. If you want to discover who our next guest will be, we'll see you on our YouTube channel, Warship Studio, during our next show, G3 TV. Thank you guys so much. This was Jesse. Good night. Thank you, Jimmy. You're still not getting that raise, though. <sighs> now the two squeezies over there, they want to steal all the insurance money, and then how are they gonna pay me? Huh? You're my agent. Find me a new job. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. It was so great to have you here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. Uh, follow us on all our social media and don't forget that to get this box you can get 10% off by using the code WORSHIP10! It was GG! Bye guys!